Hello everybody, welcome to another CSGO editing tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to record with most streams. This is actually going to be an updated version of my previous tutorial. In that tutorial, I made a couple of mistakes. So in this one, I'm going to be correcting them. All right, so first off, obviously we're going to download and install HLE. So you just download the latest version here. I've gotten a few questions before asking if you can get VAC bands by using HLE. And really, you sort of can't because HLE automatically launches in the insecure mode. So therefore, you shouldn't be able to join. As long as you don't join online matches or try to play online, uh, you shouldn't get banned. After that is done, download Virtual Dub 2 and then download and install the lag rift lossless code. Once you have that done, all you have to do is open up HLE like so. You should get this little box. Go to File, Launch CSGO. For the CSGO EXE file, you need to click on Browse and then locate your CSGO.exe in your Steam folder, most likely on your C drive or your Steam directory. Um, if you don't know where it is, just open up Steam, uh, go to CSGO, right click on CSGO, properties, local files, browse local files, and you should be able to find the directory for your Steam folder here. And then just uh, select this. So in this case, mine's on my E drive, program, Steam apps, common, uh, Cash Rate Global Offensive, and then CSGO.exe is here. All right. Once you've located it, select it, press open, and that should be and the directory should be applied here. Uh, for movie making config parent folder, you can enable this and put the directory for your movie making config. And for you can enable the graphic resolution and enter a custom resolution. I like to do 1920 by 810. Gives me 21 by 9 aspect ratio, and you should pretty much leave everything else default. Press launch CSGO. All right, once you launch in CSGO, you should get the console up, close it. And you should see this valve anti cheat message pop up. That's fine, that means HLE is working. Just press OK. I also recommend going on Steam and sending it to self offline mode, like so. That way you don't get any uh, Steam notifications popping up. Right now, press Shift F2 on your keyboard and uh, click the load button. And what you need to do now is load up a demo. So I'm just going to go to my editing folder and look for a quick demo to record. Alright, so once you're in the game, I'm just going to clear the console. You can go ahead and exact your movie making config if you have one. And uh, use the commands demo underscore go to tick to get to your frag. All right, so once we've gotten to the place wherever you want to record, I'm gonna pause it here. All right, so now once you've gotten to the place where you want to record, I'm gonna type CL underscore uh, draw only death notices one. That way it gets rid of the HUD. The command we want to type to uh, record the streams are exec fx slash update work around like so. You should get this uh, message pop up in the console saying advanced effects CSGO update workaround CHD loaded. Now if you want to preview these layers, all you have to do is type Merv streams, Merv underscore streams preview, and then the name of the layer. So in this case, my mat is the green screen layer, like so. My world is the just normal world layer. Uh, depth is the depth layer with the uh, models. And depth world well, is the depth without the models. And if you want to stop the preview, just type over streams preview and like so, and then you should be able to not go back to normal. All right, cool. Now, if you need to uh, change any of the uh, things within the stream layer, so in this case, let's do most streams uh, preview my mat, like so. All right, so. If you have a smoke in your clip, uh, you might want to have the smoke uh, appear on the green screen layer. That way it doesn't mess with uh, some of the models and stuff. Because if you put the green screen layer on top with all the models, it will actually appear. The uh, player models or the enemies will appear on top of the smoke, which will look a bit weird. And they're supposed to be behind it. So I don't actually have a smoke in my clip, but I will show you the command anyway. The command is most streams edit my mats other particle action draw. And that will pretty much uh, put the smokes uh, onto your green screen clip, which is uh, useful. Now, if you want the kill feed and the uh, scope to appear on your green screen clip, uh, you need to type Merv streams edit my mat draw HUD then one. That will make the scope appear on the green screen layer like so. Uh, I don't actually want this, so I'm going to disable it like so. Uh, you can record it obviously if you want to. 
Now, if you want more lays, just type Merv streams adds. Uh, I'm just gonna do a base effects layer, base effects, and I'm gonna call it test, like so. Now, if you do Merv streams print, you should have another layer added, like so. This is just a basic uh, normal layer, like so. This is just a normal layer. Um, so if you don't actually want to record any of these layers and just want a normal layer to record, there you go. And if you want to remove a layer, for instance, if you want to remove depth or mod or whatever, you just type the name of the layer name. So I'm going to remove the one I just added. So just like so. All right. I think that covers most of the basic commands. Now to start recording, uh, just make sure you set the host frame rate to whatever you want to record. I recommend at least 300 if you want to do lots of velocity, but I'm going to do 150 just because I don't want to sit here and wait for it to record. And make sure you do host underscore time scale zero as well. Now, if you want to record sounds, which most of you probably will do, just do merv, merv underscore snd underscore time scale and set that to one. That will give you a separate WAV file that you can add in editing. And uh, now what we need to do is set the directory where you want this to record. If you don't set a directory, you'll just record to your CSGO uh, directory, I believe. So I recommend setting one anyway. So the command is most streams record name, then enter the directory. So I'm just going to do, so I'm going to set it to my clip folder like so, and it'll record to that. So start recording, just do most streams record start. Press enter, resume the demo like so. All right, once your clip is finished playing and you want to stop the recording, just open up the console, type most streams record end, and I'll stop recording. You can go ahead and quit out of the game, like so. Close HLE. All right, so once you're done recording, go ahead and open up virtual dub, and then go to the directory of where you recorded to. So in this case, mine's in D drive onto my clips folder, like so. And you see all the layers into its separate folders and the audio if you did record that. Go ahead and open up the first folder. And you should see a bunch of TGA files. Go ahead and drag and drop uh, any of them in really. And in virtual dub you should see the video. So in this case this is the depth clip. And uh, once that is done, go to the video tab. Go to frame rate. Set the frame rate to what you recorded at. I record mine at 150. So I would set it to 150. And then for compression. I like to select lag with lossless. Uh, here are the settings I use. All right, once that is done, you can go ahead and go to file, save as, and I'm just gonna save it into my uncompressed folder like so, and call this one depth like so. Save it, and uh, it should take a little while, and it should save into an AVI. I like to disable these two things, that makes it go a little bit faster. And you need to do this for all the uh, layers. So we'll need to do it for the depth, uh, the mat, and the world layer as well. All right, once you're done saving all those clips uh, into AVIs from Virtual Dub, you should see all the layers like so. So the depth, the world, mat, and world layer like so. And all you have to do is combine them to create the depth of field effects uh, in After Effects or Vegas. I have separate tutorials for them already, so I'm not going to show you in this one. Uh, if you want to know how to do create the depth of field effect in Vegas or After Effects, I'll leave links in the description to them. So yeah, that's recording with Merv Streams, pretty simple. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.